In this video, we will learn how to find the price elasticity of demand using two different methods. The question is like this. Uh, if average revenue is given as 100 minus 3Q, where Q is the quantity, the elasticity of demand at Q is equal to 5 is, the options are minus 3, 3, 5, 0.67 and 0.18. So we will use two different methods in finding the elasticity of demand, which is rather the price elasticity of demand. First, we will use one formula for finding the elasticity of demand is given by that is average revenue divided by average revenue minus marginal revenue. This is one method of finding the elasticity of demand. That means we are given the average revenue. This is average revenue is equal to 100 minus 3 Q. So, what is average revenue uh, at Q is equal to 5? So, we will see average revenue when Q is equal to 5 means we have to put Q is equal to 5 in this average revenue function that is 3 into 5. So, this comes out to be 100 minus 85. Sorry, 100 minus 15 which is equal to 85 so we got the average revenue now we have to find the marginal revenue this is our average revenue function okay to find the marginal revenue first we need to find the total revenue now total revenue is equal to average revenue times quantity when we multiply quantity to the average revenue, we get the total revenue. That means our average revenue function is given. That is 100 minus 3Q. And to this, we multiply Q, which comes out to be 100Q minus 3Q square. This is our total revenue. And to find the marginal revenue from total revenue, we simply uh, differentiate total revenue function with respect to quantity. That means marginal revenue is equal to d dr that means differentiating total revenue function with respect to quantity so the derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 100 minus 3 now what is the derivative of q square it is 2q so we write here 2q okay so we will get here 100 minus 3 to the 6 q so our marginal revenue is equal to 100 minus 6q or marginal revenue when q is equal to 5 that means we just put the value of q is equal to 5 in this marginal revenue function that is 6 into 5 which we get here 100 minus 6 5 are 30 and which comes out to be 100 minus 30 is 70 okay now we got all the values then elasticity of demand is equal to this formula we will use we will use this, our average revenue is equal to we have calculated somewhere it is here 85 divided by average revenue 85 minus the marginal revenue which we calculated which is 70 that is 85 divided by 85 minus 70 is 15 and this comes out to be 5 3s are 15 5 1s are 5 6 7 8 5 7s are 35 this is 17 divided by 3 which is equal to 3 5s are 15 uh, 60 17 this becomes 3 5s are 15 and uh, 2 is left so this becomes 20 3 6 is 18 so we get elasticity of demand is 5.6 okay i hope i am making myself clear now coming to the usual uh, formula which we use for finding the price elasticity of demand and we know that very formula very well that is elasticity of demand is equal to dq our dp times p by Q, okay so in this case we have to find this derivative dq over dp 
now what will we do here we have uh, written total revenue is equal to 100 q minus 3 q square okay so first we will solve this i am talking about the second method so total revenue is equal to total revenue is equal to 100 q minus 3 q square and we know total revenue is equal to price times quantity gives us total revenue so this is 100 q minus 3 q square now uh, our p is equal to if we transpose this q on rhs so this will get divided to each of the terms so we will get 100 q divided by q minus 3 q square divided by q which comes out to be p is equal to 100 this q q gets cancelled minus here 1 q gets cancelled with q square so we are left with 3 q okay now what is p when q is equal to 5 now our p would be equal to 100 minus 3 into 5 is 15 so we get here 85 so price is equal to 85 also we solve this inverse demand function for q so that means uh, if we transpose this q here this will become positive we have 100 minus p or q is equal to transposing this 3 it will get divided this is 100 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3 p okay why am, why i am uh, read, uh, writing this in uh, explicitly uh, in q because we have to find this very derivative to dq upon dp we have to differentiate this very demand function with respect to p okay so this p we got the value of q we also uh, got which is also given now we have to find this dq our dp now differentiating this very function will give us the dq our dp so differentiating this very demand function with respect to price derivative of constant is always zero here the derivative of p is one so we are left with minus one divided by three okay now using the formula that is elasticity of demand is equal to dq our dp into p by q now just insert the value dq upon dp is equal to minus one divided by three times what is our p p is equal to 85 what is our q q is 5 which is given now uh, here we can write it like this 5 ones are 5 so here we have 5 ones are 5 uh, 6 7 8 5 7 are 35 so we get here 17 into minus 1 is minus 17 divided by 3 which comes out to be uh, 3 5 are 15 point 2 are left so this becomes 20 uh, 3 6 are 18 so we get here minus 5.6 so we got ed is equal to minus 5.6 but we always take the absolute value of the number uh, which we get that means our elasticity of demand is that is minus 5.6 we take the absolute value and it comes out to be positive 5.6 but still it represents the negative slope okay negative relationship between price and quantity demanded okay uh, by removing uh, the negative sign we doesn't mean that uh, there would be the positive relationship between the uh, price and quantity demanded it is assumed to be negative and we take this absolute value only uh, to remove the minus sign but the relation will always remain the negative here okay if price increases quantity demand will decrease so this uh, price elasticity number tells us actually if uh, uh, if price uh, increases by one percent then quantity demanded will decrease by 5.6 percent this is the meaning of this very number okay i hope i make myself clear thank you